This is Oklahoma, one of the many places in America where catfish is high on the menu. It has a similar taste to cod or halibut, and the rivers, lakes, and swamps of the American South are crawling with this delicious fish. This little beauty here is cod and chips to the locals. It's the most amazing fillets of catfish. They've been coated in cornmeal, lightly fried, and they taste absolutely fucking delicious. You can only buy farmed catfish in Oklahoma. If you want to experience the taste of it wild, you need to catch them yourself. Hello, Mr. Ramsey. How are you, sir? I'm going to be taught to noodle for mine by local champion Lee McFarlane. Hey. I'm excited to be here. Noodling, tell me what it's... But it's an act of getting in the water and catching giant catfish with your bare hands. And what's the chances of being bitten? It'll be like a pit bull. Ready. When he grabs hold of you, he'll bite you and make you say words you haven't said in a long time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You can't noodle on your own, so we're taking the family with us. It'll be like fishing with the Waltons, but hopefully their expertise will ensure we grab a decent catch. This is Lee's prized patch, Carl Blackwell Lake, a stretch of water six miles long and four miles wide. The clay turns the water a murky orange colour, which makes what I'm about to do ten times harder. Now, usually, I'd cast the line out and wait all day for a bite, hoping to land a big fucking catfish. But here, on this lake, they noodle. So basically, all you need is a big pair of hands and a big pair of bollocks. This lake is teeming with catfish, and Lee knows it like the back of his hand. We're heading to his best noodling spots with cousin Mark and his son-in-law, Josh. So how do we see them? You won't see them. So it'll be like feeling in the dark. Blind. Yeah, and that, the minute it snaps first time, bang. Grab yeah. hold of it. Grab hold of it. Catfish hide in cracks and holes below the surface. The Native Americans thought grabbing them by hand was the best way to find food, and people have been noodling here ever since. First, we need to find the holes on the bed of the lake using our feet. It's quite a big hole, that, isn't it? A little scary. Yeah, it's quite eerie. I, I can't see fuck all. You I'm ain't going to see. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm using my feet and my hands, and I'm, like, fishing blind. You're hunting. Surrounded by bushland, the lake is full of black snakes and snapping turtles. I'm wearing gloves to prevent my fingers being bitten off whilst I go under and dig deep. Nothing else down there? Nothing else is in there. We've done check. <laughs> By going underwater, I could reach as far into the holes as possible. <laughs> Fuck. Long ways back there, isn't it? <laughs> Feel how big that hole gets? Yeah, it's big. It's big all the way through. <laughs> We also check holes in the riverbanks, which are easier to get to, but just as dangerous. This just feels so strange to your hand in a fucking hole waiting for fish to bite you so you can grab it by the gills and pull the fucker out. Oh, he's coming to you, Mark. He's right, Mark. Yeah. Lee has found our first catfish and is attaching a rope through its mouth underwater to help stop it escaping. Yeah. Boy, man, let's see what you got. <laughs> fucking nice kicking like that. He then leaves me to do the hard bit pulling the fish out of his hole. Shit. I see it. Oh, oh yeah, I see that. Oh, wow. Shit. Fucking ass. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Bloody hell. But success is brief. One minute is in my hands, and the next... It slips off the rope and gets away. Fuck. What a rookie. Sorry, guys. Uh, that's part of the game. Another hour, another location on the lake. And in less than 20 minutes, Lee has found another one. Feel that hole under yeah. there? This time, it wasn't going anywhere. You had to go under. Yeah. Oh, oh. He's there. You got him? Yep. Oh, shit. No, he's just bit me. <laughs> he just... bit you? <laughs> Slide him here. Shit. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. That's a nice. <laughs> Shit. That's a good one. We are going to eat fish. <laughs> the bigger the catfish, the tastier the flesh. And these boys will tell you this is by far the best way to bag a decent catch. Oh, fuck me, he's a big one. Look at that beauty. Lovely. And our catch was proof I was fishing with some of the best noodlers in the business. Bring them up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's some weight in there. Huh? <laughs> oh, fuck. Good job. <laughs> we'll cut their tails and let them bleed. Really? Yeah, because if you don't, you'll have a lot of blood in that meat. Yeah, 
that's like we do to a pig. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's amazing. I never knew you had to drain them. And your father showed you this way. My father's taught me all this. Fuck. Right, I've learned how to noodle properly. Now I've got to skim one and then fillet one. To skin one? Yeah. What you've got, if you look right here, you just barely want to pierce the skin. Here's the next thing. Just like catching them, Lee makes skinning the catfish look easy. Now it's my turn. Under the bow. Under the bow. Turf in. Modern day times. Fucking pair of pliers and a pen knife. They went down like taking your socks off. Jesus. There you go. Unbelievable. Now he's ready to play. Look how white that flesh is. But if we wouldn't have cut the tail, yeah. that'd have been all solid red down through there. You want it as white as that. God, it's so tough. So why are they so cheap? Because they're, they're raising them in ponds. These are wild, yeah. and they, the taste is a lot different because these are bigger. See, I just think everyone's got the wrong impression for a catfish. You know that? They do. Uh -huh. These are the best eaten. From that big mother, that is delicious. <laughs> Freshly noodled catfish, skinned, filleted, and now we're going to cook them Cajun style. I'm making a delicious fiery marinade using paprika, cayenne pepper, and dried thyme. That makes the fish a lot more fragrant. A tablespoon of garlic powder, seasoned with salt, pepper, and olive oil. The juice of two lemons helps to season the fish, and more importantly, it works the marinade a lot quicker. Give that a little mix from there. Roll the catfish around the marinade. Already, the catfish is starting to absorb that marinade, and then from there, Heat the pan, nice and hot, olive oil in. Get some colour on the catfish to seal it and give it some flavour. That's what we want there, that really nice blackened flavour. And that's why it's Cajun style. Deglaze with white wine to take the kick out of the spices and to keep the fish moist. And then from there, we're going to make our vinaigrette. Two parts olive oil, fresh lemon juice, salt, pepper, and a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. A little pinch of dried thyme. Nice. Mix that up. Sell it on. Touch of vinegar over there. Before the catfish comes out, a nice drop of fresh lemon. Beautiful, look at that. Lovely. Out onto the plate. Once the catfish has cooled down, all I'm going to do now is just get the catfish and just open up. And look, look at that really nice blackened flavour on the outside. Lay it inside the lettuce, and that has to be the most amazing way of eating catfish. Right, you redneck noodlers, you ready? Mm. Excellent. Mm, mm, mm. That is delicious. And fast. Huh? And fast. And healthy. Mm. The flavour of that catfish is extraordinary. You normally fry yours. This, Josh, is a, an alternative, a lot healthier. So the next time you're noodling, you can fit down all those little cracks. <laughs> yeah? Please? Can he redeem himself, guys? Am I officially a redneck now? You're a redneck. <laughs> Thank you. That's one trip I'll never forget, I can assure you. <laughs> spinach, chicory, fricassee, iceberg, fennel, spinach, broccoli. <laughs> We've got Michelin-starred monkeys. <laughs>